Hello and welcome to a discussion on how to value inventory using FIFO, LIFO, and weighted average under the periodic method. After viewing this video, you should be able to compute the value of inventory and cost of goods sold using FIFO, LIFO, and weighted average, explain how the three methods impact the income statement, and explain the meaning of the LIFO reserve. Before we get to our discussion on FIFO, LIFO, and weighted average, Let's first talk about the specific identification method. The specific identification method is used when it is easy to determine the cost of each item on hand. This occurs when each of the items are visibly different. The cost of each item on hand at the end of the period is the total value of inventory reported on the balance sheet. The cost of each item sold during the period is reported as total cost of goods sold. Companies that sell high dollar items with different characteristics generally use the specific identification method. Examples of companies that use this method are auto dealerships and jewelry stores. The specific identification method cannot be used when the same item is purchased repeatedly at different cost. This occurs when the suppliers change the prices or different suppliers are used for the same item. Suppose a company purchased 120 of item A for $24.50 and then 180 items of item A for $25.25. Sales to customers total 200 items and 100 items remain in the warehouse. The accountant does not know which cost was paid for items remaining in the warehouse. All items in the warehouse look the same and it is not possible to determine if the items remaining at the warehouse cost $24.50 or $25.25. Accounting guidance gives a choice of methods to use to estimate the value of ending inventory when the actual cost of each one is not known. The three methods commonly used are first in first out, last in first out, and weighted average. These methods are used with the perpetual method or the periodic method. The FIFO method assumes the items purchased first are sold first. Items purchased last remain in inventory. The LIFO method assumes that items purchased last are sold first. Items purchased first are then assumed to remain in inventory. The weighted average method values inventory at the average purchase cost, which is total available cost divided by total available quantity to get the average cost per item. Each of the methods used to value inventory give a different estimated cost of goods sold, which is an expense, and a different estimated value of inventory, which is an asset. The total cost of all inventories available to sell to customers during the period is either in the warehouse at the end of the period and reported as inventory or is sold to customers during the period and reported as cost of goods sold. When cost of goods sold changes, the ending inventory is different also. Remember that the three methods give an estimated value for ending inventory and cost of goods sold because the actual cost of each unit is not known. Let's take a look at an example of how to use the FIFO, LIFO, and weighted average inventory methods to compute the value of inventory and cost of goods sold. Notice the purchases and sales that occurred during the quarter. Notice that there is no cost beside the unit sold because each item looks the same and the cost of the particular item sold is not known. The first step is to list all purchases of the same item with a different cost in chronological order. Add the beginning inventory and purchases to get the total available or the amount that could have been sold during the period. The quantity of items is known. Subtract the total sold to get the quantity of items in inventory at the end of the period. Under the periodic method, the cost of sales is computed only at the end of the period and cost of sales is not recorded at the time of the sale. The cost of each item sold or remaining is not known and must be estimated. The FIFO method assumes that items purchased first are sold first. Start at the top of the previous list with the first items purchased and list the quantity purchased until you get to the total sold of 1300. The beginning inventory was there first and is sold first. 
The first purchase is sold next. The cost of items sold is subtracted from the total available that could have been sold to get the value of inventory that was not sold and remains in the warehouse. Items purchased after are assumed to remain in the warehouse. The LIFO method assumes the items purchased last are sold first. Start with the items at the bottom of the list that were purchased last and list them as sold first. Work up until you get to a total of 1300 The value of these items is the cost of goods sold. The total available less the cost of goods sold is the value of inventory remaining in the warehouse. The first items purchased are assumed to remain in inventory. Under the weighted average method, the average of all available units is used to value inventory sold and inventory on hand at the end of the period. The total available cost is divided by the total available quantity from the previous list to get an average cost of each item. The average cost is multiplied by the quantity of units sold to get the cost of goods sold. This is subtracted from the total available to get the value of inventory that remains in the warehouse at the end of the period. The total value of goods available for sale is the same for each method. Each method results in a different value of cost of goods sold and a different value of inventory reported on the financial statements. The accountant estimates the reported amounts based on the method selected because the actual amount is not known. It is impossible to determine the cost of the items actually sold when the items all look the same and have a different cost. Selecting a method to value inventory is a critical decision. Once a method is selected, the company must continue to account for inventory using the chosen method unless business conditions change that justify a change to a different method. Each method used gives a different amount of income and value of inventory reported for the period. The amount of income tax paid will also vary with the method chosen. A company is not required to select a method that approximates physical movement of inventory. Most companies attempt to physically sell their goods at FIFO due to risk of obsolescence that occurs if goods are not sold timely. But a company may use different methods for different inventory categories, such as direct materials or finished goods, or also use different methods for different geographical locations if they have international. The Internal Revenue Service's LIFO conformity rule requires a company that uses LIFO for income taxes to also use LIFO for financial reporting. The impact on income before tax and when income taxes are paid is the most common reason a method is selected. The IFRS does not allow LIFO. Public companies may feel pressure to report lower of cost of goods sold and higher income to satisfy investors. Private companies may desire to report higher cost of goods sold and lower income to pay lower taxes. The only difference in cash flows for one method or the other is the cash paid for income taxes. The method chosen does not impact when inventory is paid for. Inventory is paid for always when it is purchased. Which method gives a higher income depends on inflation or deflation. LIFO gives a higher cost of goods sold and a lower income than FIFO when costs are increasing over time. The last ones purchased at the higher cost are assumed to be the units sold during the period. FIFO gives a higher cost of goods sold and a lower income than LIFO when costs are decreasing over time because the lower cost ones purchased last are considered to be the units sold during the period. Which method gives the highest incomes depends on whether the cost is increasing or decreasing. Most products, with the exception of technology, generally experience inflation over time. Approximately half of the public companies in the United States use FIFO and the other half use LIFO. Many small private companies use the periodic weighted average method because it's easy to compute. International Financial Reporting Standards does not allow the use of LIFO.
FASB requires companies that use LIFO to disclose the difference in the value of inventory using LIFO and the value of inventory would have been using FIFO. This is referred to as the LIFO reserve. Here is an illustration of the information provided in the footnotes of a company that values inventory using LIFO. This information enables investors to compare the company to another company that uses FIFO. The LIFO reserve simply means the difference in the value of inventory under FIFO and the value of inventory under LIFO. When inventory is different, cost of goods sold is different also. A higher inventory gives a lower cost of goods sold and vice versa. The LIFO reserve is a cumulative amount. The difference in the current year and the prior year is the change for the current year. Current year only is reported on an income statement. For the current year, cost of goods sold would have been 500 lower and income would have been 500 higher if the FIFO method were used. The difference in income is the change in the LIFO reserve. The LIFO reserve is a cumulative amount and the income statement reports the change for one period only. As such, the difference in the cumulative balance represents the current period change. After viewing this video, you should be able to compute the value of inventory and cost of goods sold using first in, first out, FIFO, last in, first out, LIFO, and weighted average, and explain how the three methods impact the income statement and the meaning of the LIFO reserve. Please go to studymyaccounting.com and work through practice as you learn for examples of how to compute inventory values using the three methods under the periodic method. Then work the practice test. Write out your answers and check your understanding to the answers provided. Thank you for being prepared for class. It is very much appreciated.